Hi everybody. Happy manifestation bath of Monday. So excited to come to you today. Hi Kelly. So excited to see you this week. Hi, I miss you. Aw. Thank you for the heart. Here we go. Aw, Kels, I'm so excited you're coming here this week. Yay! All right, ready? This is um, charcoal and aloe. Again, we're doing a repeat. Yeah, boy. All right, here we go. Foam it up. Wow! This one's, ooh, it got on the wall, you guys. This one's not as, uh, ooh, man. The drip drop little April shower. This one's like not as, uh, not as foamy as the Lush one, but they're so, they're fun, they're fun. They still feel silky smooth in the bathtub. Hi, Emily. I miss you. Aw. How's my Emily today? Oh, there we got Lamb Chap. She was joining the day. She always does this when we take a bath. She just curls up on the rug, on the towel next to the bathtub. All right. Well, should we get in? Are you doing bathtub in your t-shirt today? No. No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me share my favorite Are you wanting to? <laughs> okay, I'm waiting, waiting on Kit here. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, I'm going down here. Here we go. I'm going to share your video. I don't know. What's the deal here? I don't know. Hi, guys. Hi. Happy Manifestation Bathtub Monday. I'm just waiting on Kit here. So, so today we are talking about how to, um, well, in case you don't know what Manifestation Bathtub Mondays are about, usually it's just Manifestation Monday, but we love taking baths together, so we decided to do it from the bath every week. Um, and so, <laughs> Kit's here. So, uh, yeah, he's right next to me, and he's watching the video. So today's, every week we talk about a different um, type of manifestation technique that we use or a subject around manifestation, um, basically how to make things happen in your life for yourself, how to get what you want. I'm in my bathing suit today, you guys, because it's, it's just too hard not to show your TTs. Um, in these videos, so I decided to do it in my bathing suit. Uh, so today's about we've done we've done manifestation Mondays on. Um, it's too full. Is it? Get down low. I can't. I want to put some water. Okay. So we've done manifestation. I'm gonna have to take some water out, you guys. Here we go. We've done manifestation Mondays on. Hey, Roxanne. Yay. Roxanne watches these videos a lot. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here this week. So we have done Manifestation Mondays on how to manifest the perfect house, on how to manifest the perfect lover, on um, how to manifest abundance. And today is about... I'm ready, I think. <laughs> it's about desperation. Being desperate. Yeah, and oftentimes um, we want something so bad that... We think about it so, so much, so often, and um, we really just, we, we focus all of our energy on the fact that it's not there and how badly we want it. Um, and that's, that's called desperation. Um, has anybody, can anybody relate to this, this idea of um, wanting something to the point of desperation? So bad. You just gave me this look like, that's not going to work, honey. What? No, here, just come down. Hold on, let's do this. <laughs> ah, Kelly can understand. No, let me get this way. Okay, Kent's still adjusting um, his bathtub. Oh, that works. Here we go. All right. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. All right. Hey, here we are. So bad that it 
it gets to the point of desperation. Where you're like, oh, what? I what I was in here. Yeah, and and you just, you, all you think about is how miserable your life is without it. And how much your life will crumble if you don't have it. Yeah, and... That's called desperation. Yeah, and um, you just, you think like, oh my God, like, my life sucks without this thing, without this person, without this money, without this... Um, job that you really want, maybe it's, um, maybe you like really want to move to a new city and you think, man, oh God, I can't wait to move to, you know, Chicago because San Diego's the worst. And I'm like, oh God, I can't wait to get out of the city. I can't wait to, to go somewhere else. Or, um, you know, I can't wait to uh, get my first client because, um, you know, you started a new business and you're, you're desperate for your first client and, and you're just thinking about how how much everything sucks without that first client and how, oh my God, what if I don't make it? Um, so, so that's, that's a desperation feeling. Um, I'm sure we can all relate to that. And the reason why... We got, we got a little money bags here. Yes, money. Yeah, money, money, money. Money's a big one. Yeah. There's a few. There's time, money, love. Yeah, yeah, time, money, and love. Those are the three big... Desperation. Things that, that come up for most people here. Hi, Preeti. Hi, Preeti. Hi, we love you. So I'm sure. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. Yay, you watch every week. I'm so glad you're here. Lauren, today we are talking about what is the number one thing that blocks manifestation. And what is that? Desperate. Desperate. Guys, that song, Desperate does that have to do with being desperate? I don't know. I don't know what these songs mean. Um, so should we talk about so, so the title of the video today is, is Manifestation Bathtub. Self-sabotage, exactly. How to release desperation and embrace inspiration. That's, that's what I put. So let's talk about so, why desperation blocks manifestation. Because, you know, typically the whole idea is you ask for something, you have such a strong desire for it, the universe will just reward you with it. Right, so you think, oh, the more I focus on this, the more it will be attracted to me, right? Law of attraction, that's, that's the whole thing that we talk about every week in this bathtub is, that's what manifestation is based on, is the law of attraction, right? So you think, oh, well, the more I think about it, the more it's likely to come to me. When in fact, when you're focusing on the lack of something, that's what desperation is. You're not focusing on the joyfulness of it. You get more lack. Yeah, so when you're, all you're focusing on is how much your life sucks without this thing, that's focusing on scarcity. That's focusing on a complete wrong end of the spectrum and you'll only attract more scarcity and more lack, right? Yeah, can you think of a time in your life when that happened? You got any story for it? Oh, God. Many times, many, many times. Um, I don't like thinking about those times, but uh, I'll go back to when we owned our yoga studio in Asheville. Um, there was a lot of that going on, and we, you know, we opened the studio with our own money. We didn't take out a loan or anything, um, and so it was bare bones. And we really had to make it work. We had to make it work. And Kelly says. Wanted and not wanted, same momentum of them at the same time. Ah! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's almost like two things butting heads, right? Or like taking one step forward and one step back. Well, so playing off what Kelly said, you know, I actually didn't like hearing that story. It just feels terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go back fine. there. Fine. I don't even want to go back Thank there. Thank you for the distraction, Kelly. Yeah. So, um, wanted and unwanted. What happens is when you're desperate for something and you're like, God, why did I want it? But you're focusing on like, it can't happen, it can't happen, I don't believe it, I'm not confident enough, this is, you know, I'm not good enough, I'm not this enough. I want it, 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 I want it. What happens is the, these energies collide. Mm -hmm. So you got one energy going towards the lack side, one energy going towards the want side, mm -hmm. and they hit each other, and what does this energy, What where does this energy go? What happens when you've got this huge collision of contrast? going on in your body. Turns into frustration. Turns into anxiety. Yeah, it turns into a dam of energy. Sickness. And it comes up. Yeah, it could it could manifest in a physical illness, it could manifest in migraines, it could manifest in um, like a an anxiety spiral or a depression spiral. Um, it could manifest 
manifest in attracting certain people into your life that reflect that same mentality. Um, Kelly said, nowhere, stuckness. Yeah, exactly. It just, it just gets you stuck. So how do you move through this? How do you dissolve this barrier? How do you um, release this pattern of desperation? Hi, Nicholas. Oh, I miss you. Oh, hi. I miss butt rubs and, and phone trains. Nicholas fixes my phone for me and I, and I give him massages. I'm, he's, he's been in Vegas for like a million years. We miss you. So usually um, one thing that, will, like if you're not releasing it and it's just this, this stuff energy is just repeating and repeating and repeating, one, usually one thing will happen that will help dissipate this energy. You'll get sick. Oh, miss you too. Um, um, yeah, you'll get sick or... And what happens with sick is surrender. You just have to fucking let go. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to get sick, there's another option. Let go of yourself. Chill the fuck out. Relax. Okay, so I'll give an example here. Um, about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I don't even know, man. It's been it's been a crazy few weeks. But um, uh, Kit decided that he wanted us to be very, very organized with our time because he was very desperate you for... On top of it, we were going to make it happen. We were going to force it into existence. Desperate for, for our business to, to do better, which we are doing pretty good. We have amazing clients. We are planning an amazing retreat in the Canary Islands. Like, I'm going to Edinburgh in a few weeks. Like, you know, like, shit is, is good, you know? And, um, but, but Kit wanted to see if we could make it better. So he thought, well, maybe if we plan our week down to the minute. And so we sat down one day and we planned this schedule that was just like, boom, 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 boom. Like 9.15, we'll do this. 9.45, we'll do this. 10.05, we do this. And it's like, it was like us doing all this, all this crazy stuff um, all day, every day uh, for our business. And, and we scheduled some self-care stuff in there too because that's important, but, um, but we really, like, that's not our style. And so we thought, okay, well, I'll go along with it this week, and we'll see if this works. Like maybe this will this will help us have a big breakthrough in our business. And so we started following the schedule. And what was that? Like two days into the week, I got sick. Kit got the stomach flu, um, and he was forced to just surrender. Do nothing. Do nothing. I woke up in the middle of the night, growing up, and was just like, "This is right." Yeah. So this is better. So he surrendered, and then a couple days later, I got the stomach flu, and I surrendered, and our week kind of just all our plans went to pot. But you know what happened? One day I woke up, and someone had bought a place at the retreat, and someone else had paid for coaching, and so just by laying in bed being sick that week, we actually did just fine anyway. You know, and and we were able to just relax and receive. And so, so that's what we're getting at here is how do you release this desperation? How do you release this, this tangled, um, spiraling feeling of stuckness of, I want it, I want it, I want it, I'm going to die without it. How do you release that and, and actually get what you want? Well, if it's not going in the direction you want it to go and it's not moving quickly, you're throwing shit in front of your trail that's getting in the way. You're throwing negative thoughts, you're throwing uh, lack mentality, you're throwing scarcity mentality. And the only way to get rid of that is to stop thinking about what you want. Is to give up. Mm -hmm. Give up until that lack mentality has dissipated. Mm -hmm. And just relax. Um, Lauren says, are you all better again, Miss Rosie? No, I'm not. I'm still sick. Um, so I got the stomach flu and then it, it re-triggered, I think this is what happened, it re-triggered a virus in my system. Um, from when I was a little kid that has been going on for three weeks now, on and off. And, uh, and this is something I'm currently working with. And I, I, I'm not really sure how to relax and surrender any more than I have. It's been a really interesting journey. So um, I've gone to a Western doc. I've gotten some intuitive, like, shamanic priestess healing, like, um... And so this is something that maybe some of you guys might know something I could do about. But yeah, I woke up again this morning, still have a fever, like for the last 10 days. Hey, 
Cindy. Um, when you learn how to clear it, it's going to be a really great manifestation bag. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you when I finally get better from this thing, whatever it is. Um, what was the inspiration to, what was like the magical moment that healed it? We'll see. Maybe, I, I don't know, really it's just been like rest, 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 and um, we'll see what happens. That's all I can do for so, now. What are some ways to give up and surrender? Um, uh, self-care. And how's your self-care been lately? Not great. <laughs> oh, and then the golden, the golden answer here. Yeah, uh, I, I was meditating every day, and Kit even left the house yesterday to go to the gym and said, are you going to meditate while I'm at the gym? I was like, yeah! I didn't, I just kept cleaning the house. Um, so, yeah, so that, that's a big one there, is self-care. Um, how to, how to just, like, sometimes it's like, it's easy to think, well, I can't relax and surrender because if I do, then I'm going to lose all this money that I have, or I'm going to lose this momentum, or, um, I'm, I'm going to, like, I'm going to get stagnant if I take a break, when really what happens is, you know, you have to, sometimes you have to plant a lot of seeds. Um, and then you have to just sit and wait for those seeds to sprout. You ever, you ever give them time? Garden, when the sprouts come up, you go and you pull on them, you kill them. Mm. And that's what, that's what desperate energy is. Yeah. It's pulling on your sprouts yeah. before they come up. So you can't force it. You can't force manifestation. You can't make it go faster than it is. You just have to sit back and wait for those sprouts to grow. And that includes taking care of yourself, um, getting as happy as possible, and just And the other thing is, when you get as happy as possible, that's when you get the inspiration that will be the next step, that will bring abundance, that will bring you the relationship, that will bring the love, that will bring the time, that will bring the money. It's from the happy place, what she say? Lauren said, I made a huge self-care decision this week and I quit my job that is literally oh. killing me. I lost 20 plus pounds. Woo! Yeah! You lost 20 pounds in a week? Um, wow. I'm confused about the 20 pounds thing. Did you lose weight because you quit your job or did you lose weight at your job because it was killing you? Either or, way, or congratulations you on quitting your job. Lose 20, 20 metaphorical pounds of psychic energy. <laughs> Um, that is the way to go, and just know that the universe is supporting you in that decision, and make sure you take care of yourself now, and don't just fill that hole with something else. That kills you. Oh, yeah, you lost the weight from the stress and the overwork. Yeah, I've been there before, too. So, um, congratulations on quitting that job. That's awesome. Um, make sure you, you fill that hole with something that feeds your spirit. This um, is whoa, that's wild. She no. lost 20 physical pounds in a week from losing the stress in your life. That's cray cray. That's amazing. No, I think she lost the weight from being stressed and overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, so it's not a good thing. Yeah. So, it's okay. Either way, congratulations. Um, this, is, I, this is why people watch us in the bathroom. Just <laughs> stupid moments like that. Yeah. I know, we're stupid moments where we almost show our boobs, but hey, I came prepared today. <laughs> um, all right, guys, so oh, this is actually a good spot. Like, I cover the titties. Yeah, but I can't see you. <laughs> um, so there's your ticket for this week. Release desperation, embrace inspiration, just relax, take care of yourself, so get good. as happy as possible, and whatever it is that you are craving will come towards you. You just got to distract yourself from the wanting of it mm -hmm. so that you can distract yourself from the desperation. Distract yourself from the lack of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this has been Manifestation Bathtub. Uh, if you guys ever want to hop on the phone with us and figure out what might be holding you back or getting in your way, um, we offer free 30-minute uh, strategy sessions on the phone. Uh, if you want to book one, go to willowvolcano.com slash book with us. And just click, you can book with me, you can book with Kit. It's pretty easy. And just hop on the phone with us for 30 minutes, and we can talk through all of this stuff together. Do you want to tell them some of the results of clients are having? Uh, I'll, I'll tell a couple of those, yeah. So our clients, oh my God, are fucking amazing, first of all. But uh, we've had clients... So we have a coaching program that's eight weeks. Um, one of my clients hit her eight-week goal at week four. Your client four. hit her eight-week week goal three. at week three. Um, we've had clients double their income so they could quit one of their jobs. We've had many clients um, be able to 
do yoga and body work and support themselves from that. So many people are on that journey. And then there's a few people that are also working with heartbreak and working with healing that. And that's, that's been incredibly rewarding to see people struggle with something for a year and then work with us and after three, four weeks have huge revelations that, that are he that's healing to the heart. Yeah, and in all this work, you guys, is mindset work. It's all mindset work. So it's about, you know, it's about going from that place of desperation to going to that place of inspiration. And we are there as accountability to help you get there. You know, we're there to, to spot you and to call you out when you start to spiral into that place of being stuck. And bring um, you back. And we bring you back. We bring you back to center. And so just by us being there for you every week, week after week, um, it's all, it all comes from inside of you. It's not like we're doing anything for you, but we're just kind of there to remind you to come back to that place of inspiration, that place of happiness. And um, as a result, our clients are killing it. You yeah. Know? So and it's not just mindset work, it's mindset work with tools. Yeah, so well, like, yeah, of course. You get the mind, if, if you don't have the mindset solid, then the tools won't work. Exactly. So it all starts, it all starts with the mindset. Um, and the, the tools are useless without that. Yeah. So unless you have the healing, you don't, you know, like if your hand's broken, you can't use a hammer. True. If your mind is broken, you can't use the tools to grow your business, heal your heart, get a new relationship, all, of, all that stuff people are in a coaching program for. Although we don't think anybody's broken, but, no. um, but maybe stuck, maybe fine, maybe you know, stuck in a place where they don't really see the way out. Um, so yeah, so we love what we do. We want to share it with you. Give us a call. Have a manifestation Monday. Tell us what you're manifesting this week. And we'll